Hi everybody and welcome to Reading Michigan. I'm Steve with Richards Motor Sales and today we've got a new arrival that came in today, a 2015 pre-owned Jayco Redhawk 23XM Class C mini motorhome, real nice unit with 3,300 miles, a 6.8 liter V10 with 362 horsepower and an E450 platform. Inside, this uh, reminds me of a Class B layout, but not as expensive as most Class Bs would be. So it's a great drivable size with two slide outs in the master. This uh, wardrobe slide on the door side, and then the bed slides out the back to make a queen to make a queen bed when we're in camping mode. Here's our um, backup monitor. We're all set up for hitch and towing. We do have pass-through storage in the rear. Push-button power patio awning. Frameless. UV tinted windows. Very nice finish. And uh, inside this really looks like a new unit. We have a mid-kitchen. And the first thing we see is an oversized 8 cubic foot gas electric two-way refrigerator. And next to it is our all-important pantry. Nice and deep. Uh, it looks like a cherry stained cabinetry. We have a, uh, instead of an oven, we have in lieu of that a pots and pans drawer, big and a range with a 9000 BTU front boiling burner and an igniter and then overhead we have a convection microwave combo that looks like it's not been used but uh, very clean regardless we have a 50-50 split acrylic sink composite with a high rise and then our overhead bed that can be flipped back so we have full entry to our cab area. There is a 32 inch TV and a swing arm with a CD player below it. So this will, um, when we're in camping mode, turn out and I'll show you. Join our living area. So it'll pivot towards us. Or go back in travel mode and safely secure up against the wall. 3,300 miles um, on the V10. And here's our front uh, chairs. Two captain's chairs, real nice um, comfort features. It looks like a Ford truck dash to some extent. We, we do have a CD, DVD, AM, FM, and um, automatic with power windows, locks, crews, and tilt. Heated mirrors in this one and some 12 volt uh, inputs there as well here's our dinette and i'm not sure what jaco calls it but it looks like what we call a dream dinette which is legless and has a gas shock on the back so two things we don't bang into a leg a support leg on the outside it's very sturdy and it goes down into a sleeper in one in one move so it'll go onto a support um, ledge by pushing down onto it and we don't have to use puzzle pieces basically to, to fix this into a bed overhead um, we might be in a seven foot interior we probably are it feels like it's 84 inch so we have some ceiling height here overhead cabinets we have some of our controls in this control panel but mostly it's the generator that has 54 hours on it and um, our monitor panel and gas electric water heater switches um, it has a thousand watt Xantrex Pro power inverter and it also shows us the input voltage and the current we're using so it's cool in that regard especially when we're on 12 volt um, interior lights nice look at the kitchen living combo I'll take you into the bedroom and um, if I can uh, show you, we've got storage. Remember, we're in a smaller length unit, so storage is very important and uh, placement is very important as far as function goes. 
four lower drawers here actually a shelf unit as you enter that can be used for a linen closet because it's across from the bathroom and next to the vanity sink and um, doors and drawers below here's our slide out that we saw outside on the door side and it's um, gives us clothes hanging our perimeter curtain for the front is located in here now and uh, that gives us privacy at night privacy curtain it's not been put up with the back slide out out here's our second slide we gain uh, a queen bed in size and the concept again is smaller more easily manageable driving length and yet it gets bigger at the campsite um, shirt closets some overhead maintained with reading lights and um, shelf unit so a lot of storage we do have our um, bedroom factory tv mounted and there's a look at our fabric shades real nice lambrequin i don't know what they called this decor but it's real attractive um, here's our side bathroom it has a real low profile step in shower um, with a pull door a skylight for natural light a power fan a lot of room in here and then a uh, foot pedal flush toilet there's actually some storage if i can pull it out um i'll get back and give you a look there's some recessed storage over the toilet area and it's really clever use of space it goes in behind the shower here and that's really good piece of design work um and then a rare bathroom window that we've got which i think is cool natural light is is king in these especially when we, when we have a high uv tinted rated window like this has very important so this will all isolate itself as far as the back master and the bedroom go uh bathroom and bedroom go rather and uh, that's a look that's just a few highlights we've got generator power awning real low miles and very very clean this came in a couple hours ago and we probably will sweep it out but this really the door when i shut the passenger side door and so on this really feels like new um maybe not surprisingly but uh 59,955 sale price so just under sixty thousand dollars we're going to advertise this at and it's a 2015 again Jayco Red Hawk 23XM floor plan. Fun driving, unique way to get on the road and go RVing. This is Steve from Richards Motor Sales in Reading, Michigan. Stop over and, and see the guys and get a tour. And uh, we'd love to show you what we've got in motorized. Thanks so much and God bless.